All right, if you are watching this video, it means you need help designing your primers. So the primers have to be based off of the areas where you have STRs, short tandem repeats, and the short tandem repeats are the parts of your DNA that make you unique to yourself and unique from other people in terms of your DNA. So all of those STRs are gonna be found in the non-coding regions. Okay, I have both the show tandem, show short tandem repeats and show probe on. Um, and then you have to unzip your DNA and then you just kind of have to click and drag where you think this primer should go. So you got both primers on the top and the bottom. To think if you've got it right, you click preview. And if you see those little polymerases running along the strand, it means you did it. And the goal is to see three fragments that are all different lengths. So notice how the first fragment is, is the longest, second is the second longest, and then the third fragment is the shortest. So those represent the three different people. So we want to save those primers. Back to chromosome. And we want to find you know, a new non-coding region. So if we look at non-coding region C, we kind of do the same thing. We unzip, we drag our primers. The primers have to be three to six base pairs uh, long. And notice this one might, might not work great. Yeah, like if you look at it, the for part C, yeah, this one might not, because see how this short tandem repeat doesn't even really get present in there. Oh, there we go. I think this will work. There it is. So now we have three different fragment lengths, which we like. We saved that primer. So now we have two primers. I skipped B, non-coding region B, because every time I click on it, oh, there it goes. It's, see how it's showing gene B and not non-coding B? Like what I'm referring to is It's right here, that says gene B. We want it to say non-coding. Notice how there's no STRs, so we don't want to do this one. Let's go to D. Oh, there we go, so it's, we want it to say D, which we got. We unzip. Oh, now sometimes it says these primers will not copy the DNA. So we check and see where we were. Okay, let's clear primers and try again. There we go. Sometimes the primers don't want to be right on the end of the strand. You got to move them in a little bit. But again, notice how we have three different fragment lengths for person one, two, and three. So we save that primer. We go back, can't do that one because there's no STRs, same, oh, here we go, non-coding region F. So you got to find the STRs and once you do, you drag your primer in, nope. All right, now that one kind of goes against what I just said, how the primers don't want to be in the ends of the strands. But regardless, we found the primer, we got our three different frag length, fragment lengths, and we save it. Now we got four good primers. Uh, the instructions 
on the dock. Let's see how many they recommend. Yeah. Well, they don't specifically say how many primers you want to take, but we got four. What you can do then is you can um, click the continue button. And you go to this part where you can test your primers. So you have your DNA from your skin and the DNA from your from blood. So you can choose any one of the ones that you have. So I'm going to go four. And I'll click run analysis. Now, this is how you know you can, you did it, you, you have a primer that works because you see all these bands that are present, all these light bands that you can see here. The ladder is just sort of used for reference. The ladder is always going to be there. But what you want to do is you match up bands. So skin one matches up with blood C. And skin two is blood A. And skin three is blood D. And skin four is blood B. So then you kind of drag over. So one is C. Uh, two is A. 3 is D, 4 is B. Check, we did it. And you can kind of run your analyses with all of your primers. Okay, you got new bands to check and try. Um, once you get comfortable with this, and you wanna, you wanna make sure that all of your primers work. Let's see if we get one that doesn't work. No, nope, that one looks good. Primer one, run analysis. Yeah, no, all these are, are good uh, primers that we've chosen. You can tell that you you get you don't have good ones is when you don't have any bands that are showing up. So it's all just you know, there's nothing there. There's no those light blues. So the light blues mean that we cut the DNA at good fragments. They're differentiated, and you just kind of have to match up and you know figure out which skin matches which blood sample and then from there you got to solve your case using the primers that you've chosen so this is kind of the fun part I don't want to show you how to do this because this is what you want to sort of move towards and, and understand how to do so this is where I'm gonna leave you if you got more questions after this shoot me an email okay I hope this